The needle's been around a long time and on many levels it is successful, but it could be argued that we're missing our immune sweet spot, which is the skin. This is a, one example of a nano patch. So to the naked eye, it just looks like a, a square. But if we looked under a microscope, what you'd see is thousands of tiny projections that we dry coat vaccine to. And the idea is that we take this patch and we apply it to the skin. And in doing that, we breach the tough outer layer and deliver vaccine directly to that immune cell population just below the surface. The Rolex project allows us for the very first time to apply the nano patch to the developing world. If we take a look at the numbers, there's 17 million deaths per year due to infectious disease. The test case of vaccine that we're using, which is human papilloma virus, it's a, a virus that can lead to cervical cancer. And Papua New Guinea has the worst incidence in the world. And what's holding it back is that the cost of that vaccine. These devices are configured for very low cost and a high rollout, and uh, they're reusable. A key thing about the nano patch is because it's in dry form, it doesn't need refrigeration, and that will remove the need for the cold chain, and that's perfect for, for Papua New Guinea. It's such a mountainous terrain, it's very difficult to get from one province to the next. There's about 800 fridges in this country for maintaining the cold chain and they're breaking down and, and they only have a certain reach anyway, they're not in remote villages. So immediately those regions are, are literally in vaccine terms in the dark. Maintaining the cold chain has quite a, a large cost inherent to it, but then also vaccines are very expensive to make. With the nano patch, we only need a, a fraction of that dose. The, the Rolex Award for Enterprise is important. Uh, it allows us to get the nanopatch technology out into the developing world. Immediately it's serving as a, as a spark to fast track that activity that can lead into something much bigger. <laughs>